way to do it. It's way to do this impromptu because then you can just follow my lead because okay. I know you'll you you'll get it. So I, despite the fact that I have a lot of videos, I'm not the most social person. Actually, this guy, you don't like a crowd either, right? I hate a crowd. I like being in front of the crowd. Me but too. I hate a crowd. That's one of the things me and Brett have in common. <laughs> yes. So uh, today I am going to be in a crowd, which is not as comfortable, but we're here for some business B2B networking uh, because there's a speaker today. Right. At a business networking event. And one of the things I talk about though, is everyone says, how do you generate leads? How do you generate good leads? Is probably I should more qualify that. And it's not through LinkedIn cold no. calls. No, there's all these people think these, oh, this is the secret sauce. This script will do it. Ad targeting, right? You get some great price shoppers. People who are running around looking for an IT company on Facebook ads, are they price shoppers? They, um, Facebook ads are price shoppers. But here's the funny thing. How many of you have gotten one of those scripts and been the recipient of one? What do you think about it? Yeah, I think they're awful. I, I, If you have a generic script that you took no time to research me about, I'm just gonna put you in the spam box and you'll never be able to message me again. Right. Um, that's my general rule for those people. If they took the time, hey Tom, I see you have a YouTube channel and they take some level or I see you have an MSP business, I looked mm -hmm. at your last blog post and they know something about me. That's an actual oh, good way to open a script. You can build a relationship, um, but in person, people buy from people they like. They kind of have to physically have some trust levels with you and uh, that's what we're about to go do is build some relationships. Build some relationships. Well, it's the know, like, and trust about it, Tom, right? It, yeah. But yet they have to know and like you before they can actually trust you. So understanding that you on LinkedIn is a great way to connect with people, but building that relationship, actually talking with people, having conversations face-to-face, -face, sometimes on the phone, but face-to-face -face gets you the best results. So we're gonna go do that now Let's and go. Yeah, show we, videos we, about we, it. We better do it. We better, we're gonna go inside and actually face our fear and be in, be in a crowd of people. Crowds aren't fun. Crowds aren't fun. Bacon? Bacon. Oh, oh look, 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 I got my plate right here. Yeah. So that's the first thing we gotta do is get some food. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'll actually show you though the, I'm gonna set my camera down in here. People sitting in here. I'll talk to the person who organizes this because I know he'll like being on video. Uh, we'll cut here. You have to sit in the front row, and the reason why is because that's so you can, you know, be the center of attention and face your fear of being uncomfortable. Matter of fact, Brett, who's holding the camera now, is sitting in the front row as well. Hi there. Yeah. <laughs> so you sit in the front row. I've got my bacon. Uh, I was already having some conversations, and there's a bunch of other people here, and some of them don't know me, so they're wondering why there's some guy filming me talking to a camera. <laughs> That's gonna be the first question, right? So the yeah. So uh, we'll get we'll get to that in a second. I'll find some people that don't mind being on camera. It is the next morning and I did not have any time to film anything else yesterday in terms of that event I was at. So yes, it's the next day. I always start out with these goals like, hey, I wanna show more about networking and this is where it can be a little bit challenging to try to bring some of this content, but at least I can tell you what happened. So my goal was to talk to Mark. Did not have time to talk to Mark because as I was there and, you know, like I said, I sat in the front row, uh, people talked and et cetera, et cetera. I had some good conversations with people. Matter of fact, we got in a whole discussion about business process and procedure. That's important that I, I bring that up because I didn't spend my time geeking out talking about tech. Now that is really what I like to do, obviously. And hell, that's why I have this YouTube channel. But when you want to go and get leads, B2B leads, B2B networking, you have to go be personable, come out of your shell a little bit and, you know, have interactions with people. We actually talked about personal finance with one person who uh, worked in the mortgage and talked about getting your credit score. It, it, this was actually a very interesting conversation. It's not a subject I know a ton about, a little bit. You know, I've got a good credit score, but having these personal conversations and from that, I didn't run around handing out cards to people. I don't like to be that person who runs around and just dishes out the cards, you know, like you're dealing a poker uh, game. That's just not my style. And I, a lot of people are very turned off about that. I will tell you, they take the card and they go, well, I, I don't know why he gave me his card. I don't know anything about the person or why I should even interact with them. But because I had a few people who, you know, you they know what I do, they know I do technology, we landed a very good potential deal, which I sent an email on and it crossed my fingers, I gotta do some follow up on that. Um, another person with a mortgage company needs some small office support, so smaller deal, but hey, 
a good potential there. And the other thing that came out of this, and this is why I didn't have any more time to film, was I got a message on Facebook. Now, yes, Facebook, you can convert leads. And I said that at the very beginning of the video that you don't get good leads, but that's because I wasn't using Facebook ads. I got a message. So one of the things I've tried to curate on Facebook is having a good circle of people that I follow uh, or become friends with, and many of them own businesses. And a particular person that I have been friends with for a couple years, they've seen my posts several times about wiring and things like that. Now, this is not an ad. This is not some advertisement he'd seen for it, but because he was looking, he said, hey, um, I've seen you post about wiring. You guys do office wiring building, blah, blah, blah. And by the way, one of the things about my personal Facebook, yes, it's public facing. You won't find a bunch of political crap on there. You won't find me arguing with people over things like that. You will find me discussing what we do, maybe in an interesting way, sharing a video about how we do some wiring, cabling, that's what drew interest. But that was kind of a fun, you know, I was at the event, I was talking to a couple people, and almost as soon as I was done talking, someone says, hey, uh, would you like to come bid this? I see you do some wiring, uh, would you like to come bid my office? So I'm like, well, sure. And they don't have a dedicated IT staff or they don't know anyone who does wiring, but they're a successful company. And uh, they're growing quite fast and they've realized they need a little bit more technology. So I happen to be uh, two miles from where I was at at the event. So they said, how soon you be here? I said, I could be there in like, you know, 15, 20 minutes, which cut things a little bit short in terms of uh, my plans for filming at that event. But went over there, uh, ended up shaking hands right away in a, in a rough estimate. I got to send over the formal estimate. This is back in the morning. It's something I have to do now because from there I went to several other events and then I kind of forgot there was even a camera in my car. So I didn't really film any of those other events, but they also were less worth filming. Uh, but this is kind of what I'm talking about when it comes to, I kind of get excited when I do get on my show, kind of kind of stays on a roll where I'm going here, going there, and everything goes really well. And uh, I feel good about it. It's, you know, it's hard to get away from behind the keyboard to generate leads. Everyone's looking for some, you know, secret conversion sauce of, I, I will put this ad on Facebook, LinkedIn, or this cold script will uh, bring me those great B2B clients. And I think it works great when we did Facebook ads and Google ads when years ago, and we haven't done them in a couple of years, uh, but we were doing them to gather retail clients when we did the retail store and we're really pushing towards it. We've watched the margins in the retail go down so low in this area that they weren't worth running ads for. It just wasn't the clientele we wanted, uh, so we kind of quit doing it. I've not found that it was ever good for the uh, B2B side because I just don't see, <clears throat> in case in point, the person who messaged me on Facebook, they weren't Googling, you know, wiring. That would have been a last ditch effort is starting to Google that. And we do get people who are price shoppers and they're obviously not the ones you're really looking for where they're spending their time trying to find the lowest bidder on everything. And we, that's not us, so I can tell you that right away. We are not the cheapest people when it comes to doing things. And those are not the kind of clients you really want. I, you take them if you have to have them, if you really need the business. Uh, but as you grow as a company, it's always the goal to have the clientele you want that are a better fit, a better match for you. And uh, that B2B, that more personal touch uh, when you go out and network and leave yourself from behind the keyboard, go shake some hands is substantially better. Uh, it's, you know, it's one of the ways that we've worked. I've uh, been doing this for, like I said, a long time. And uh, I want to default back to behind the keyboard all the time, but I feel good that I did leave my, uh, I don't know that I'm an introvert, but someone who just doesn't want to be in a crowd of people. I don't mind standing in front of a crowd. I don't want to be in them. And, uh, but it's worth it. That's, you know, people ask, how do you generate leads? How do you generate leads? That's how. That is our big jobs that we do. Some of the larger projects, some of the best paying projects uh, have come from that B2B lead generation. YouTube's a whole other thing I've talked about before and it's not for everyone, so to speak. I'm not saying you can't do it, but you have to really think about a strategy around YouTube and it's it's a long journey. It's a difficult one and it's required just to get to where I'm at, me posting almost 900 videos to get to the point where YouTube generates leads and uh, actually brings us quite a bit of wonderful clients that we've met and things like that. It's, it hasn't exceeded what we do on the B2B side locally here, uh, but it's quickly racking up and rivaling up to that, which is also pretty cool. So uh, that's my thing for the uh, B2B leads and how we generate them and why you should probably get out from behind your keyboard once in a while and quit looking for that ultimate solution. I mean, if you have a software product, you're in a different category, you're not trying to do that and you're trying to get a bunch of people to convert that way. Sure, that 
that whole that's a whole different dynamic. It's a different type of business. But what I'm specifically talking about is how do we get good B two B IT leads? The best ones come still the best come from all these interactions, meetings, and things like that. I got my fingers crossed because I emailed uh, one of the people and it's four locations. They're looking for a new MSP because their current MSP is making a lot of mistakes. And uh, so I'm hoping to get that deal. If I get it, maybe I'll do a video about and talk more about that particular, if that all lands. But that's what I'm most excited about that came out of it. Just because I sat next to the person who also sat in the front row, that's they—they they never met me before, and uh, we had a great conversation. And I crossed my fingers that we'll get all their locations and uh, the MSP deals. It, it, it would be a pretty sizable deal. I'd be pretty happy about it. And they were super nice people. Well, the person there, and she does. She's not the only decision maker. So I only—I have another meeting where I got to win over more people. But uh, you know, I don't mind. I don't mind doing that. But going out and sitting down and talking with people face to face—that's how you close it. And I definitely enjoy it. That's the part I. Do enjoy is sitting down there and talking about the services because what better subject than talk about the things we do thanks and thank you for making it to the end of the video if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you'd like to see more content from the channel hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon if you like youtube to notify you when new videos come out if you'd like to hire us head over to lawrencesystems.com fill out our contact page and let us know what we can help you with and what projects you'd like us to work together on if you want to carry on the discussion, head over to forums.lawrencesystems.com where we can carry on the discussion about this video, other videos, or other tech topics in general, even suggestions for new videos. They're accepted right there on our forums, which are free. Also, if you'd like to help the channel out in other ways, head over to our affiliate page. We have a lot of great tech offers for you. And once again, thanks for watching and see you next time.